Hi, when we announce this, this is Nanny Susanne, and it's story time. So today, we are going to learn about, remember yesterday, Nanny said, oh, I don't think I'm going to like today's, but you guys are going to love it. It's called Remarkable Reptiles. Ooh. Nanny doesn't like reptiles, but I know Winry does and Alfie is. So let's find out today the story about the remarkable reptiles. It says snakes, lizards, turtles, alligators, they're all reptiles. So were the dinosaurs, and you know that, Winry. They are cold-blooded animals like the fish. Remember we mentioned that about the fish the other day? Reptiles crawl on the ground, though some prefer to swim. They have tough, scaly skin, and most of them lay leathery shelled eggs. Wow. So the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is a very dangerous. Nanny saw one in Rio years ago when she was traveling with Grampy in Arizona. But we only saw the snake. It was cut in two. Somebody rode over the snake with their car, and the snake was cut in two. Half of it had the head. The other, head, the other half had the rattler tail on it. And Nanny just leaned out of the car and looked at it. I wouldn't even get out of the car. It scared me, but it was dead, but it still scared me. So... Because they're very dangerous. You never know. It could just wake up. Half of it could still be alive. So, snakes can feel vibrations in the ground when another animal moves. When the rattlesnake senses that its prey is near, it glides swiftly forward. <laughs> and do you guys see Nikki? Nikki, she's joining the storytell time. Nikki, move over. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put her on the floor. <laughs> she wanted to be part of it. So, when the rattlesnake senses that its prey is near, is near, it glides swiftly forward and sinks its poisonous fangs into the victim. If a large animal or a person comes close, the snake shakes a rattle, this rattle here, at the end of its tail, this warns the enemy not to come any closer. It means back off, buddy. The rattle is made up of a group of hollow shells of dry skin. Each time the snake sheds its skin at least once a year, it adds a new piece to the rattle. Wow, it's fascinating. Here is the anaconda. The anaconda is the world's largest snake. It can grow as long as a school bus. Whoa! These giant snakes are usually found where there is water. They hide near the banks of streams and swamps, waiting for an animal to come for, to come for a drink. Then, with a quick looping motion, an anaconda wraps itself around the animal's body, squeezing out the air. It can swallow its prey whole because its jaws are loosely joined together. This allows its mouth to open very wide. Now, I don't know about you, but Nanny doesn't like snakes. But I want to tell you a story. So, two summers ago, you guys were visiting, and Daddy was sleeping, was downstairs laying on the floor in a bed, and all of a sudden, he comes up and says, guess what's downstairs by the bed? We're like, what? A snake. I'm like, a snake? There's never been a snake in Nanny and Grampy's house. So we all run downstairs, and there's the snake. So Nanny doesn't want snakes, and she wasn't even thinking straight because I grabbed the snake, 
and it did bite me, but it wasn't a poisonous one. And we all ran upstairs and we went outside in the back porch. And here's proof. Here's a picture that Nanny held the snake. Do you see it? It's not a big snake. Like a rattlesnake or anaconda. This snake is not as big as a school bus. But to Nanny, it felt like it was as big as a school bus. So I just opened the back door and threw the snake out there and said, don't you ever come back to Nanny and Grampy's house ever again. And you know what? The snake knew I meant business because it's never come back. Now, I know somebody, though, that loves snakes and has isn't scared like Nanny about snakes. And do you know who that person is? Oh, let me show you. I bet you you know who it is. It's Winry. Do you remember that snake? Do you remember that day? You were so brave. Look at you. And do you remember this one? So you actually had an anaconda over your head one day. And you're smiling. You're not even scared. Do you remember that? Look, that's an anaconda. Whoa. And the scariest. Oh, I'm going to keep this for the next one. I got a special picture I'm going to show you, but I'm going to wait and tell you when we look at the Komoda dragon. So. The Komodo dragon is the biggest living lizard in the whole world. The largest one, the most famous one, is found in Indonesia. You have to ask mommy to show you on the globe where Indonesia is because it's a far, 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 far away. It's on the other side of the globe. It can grow to a length of 10 feet. It often weighs as much as 300 pounds. It hunts deer, wild pigs, monkeys, and even calves. And it is supposed to be very bad-tempered. <gasps> Means it's in a bad mood all the time. It lives only on islands north of Australia. But like I said, the most famous one lives in Indonesia, which is kind of like it's, it's, it's above Australia. So another interesting fact about the um, Komodo dragon it can walk up to seven miles a day. Seven miles, do you know how long that is? Okay, when you get in a car with mommy and daddy and you go to Moose Jaw, because maybe you're going to get some McDonald's Happy Meals, well, the, the Komoda Dragon can walk about halfway to Moose Jaw in one day. And that's a big animal. He weighs a lot, it's a lot of weight he has to drag and he walks that Far about next time you go to Moose Jaw, you say, Mommy, are we halfway to Moose Jaw? And if Mommy says yes, then you think the Komoda dragon walks this far in one day. Isn't that fascinating? Okay. The perhaps because Tutorus here, this is a Tutorus, have existed for more than 150 million years. They seem to do everything in slow motion. They take about 10 breaths an hour. Do you know what a breath is? It's like, that's one breath. 10 an hour. Do you know how many you, Winry, and Alphaeus take in one minute? You take 44, 44 times you go, you don't even know it, but 44 times in one minute. Do you know how many that is in one hour? That's 2,640. You can't even count that high. He only takes 10 in one hour. That's how slow he is. So they chew their food for a long time and their eggs take more than a year to hatch. On a tutorial's head, there is a small spot, very much like a third eye, but it's a blind eye, and it doesn't see, but it does seem to detect light. 
The totora grows to a length of only two to two and a half feet. That's a little bit longer than Monty. So it looks big on this picture, but it's only a little bit longer than Monty. That's not very big. The last remarkable reptile we're gonna look at today is called the alligator snapping turtle. Ooh, sounds vicious. Turtles carry their houses with them, as you've seen before. I know you've seen a real turtle because I've seen a picture of you, Winry, touching a real turtle. They carry their houses with them in the form of a thick, heavy shell. The alligator snapping turtle is the largest freshwater turtle. It lies on the muddy bottom of a pond, opens its huge mouth, and wiggles its pink worm-like tongue. First spot the wriggling tongue, a fish spot the wriggling tongue, and fish toward it, thinking they're gonna get a fresh, juicy, plump, num, 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 worm. But as soon as it gets close, guess what the turtle does? The alligator snapping turtle, it snaps the worm, chum, 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 with its powerful jaws. And it can be very dangerous. Do you know, I want to show you something. Oh, I forgot to show you. Oh, I forgot to show you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, this is a baby. Can you see that? This is a baby snapping turtle. It's kind of bright. I don't know why it looks so bright. But there's a baby snapping turtle. And you want me to show you that big, big one? I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but that baby turtle can grow this big. Whoa, whoa, that's bigger than Monty. But the cutest reptile I've ever seen you want to see it? This is the cutest reptile I've ever seen. I could nom, 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 nom. I could eat up this reptile. Because this reptile doesn't scare me. I love this reptile. Woohoo! So I found these in the basement. They're not quite reptiles, but they're cute little reptiles. So I'm thinking this one's Alphaeus's and this one's Winry's. These are my reptiles. Now, after you see this video, you make sure you ask mommy to show you a short, cute video of a rattlesnake. Fun, fun, fun. So, Nanny's gonna say goodbye. She's going to wish you good night and have sweet dreams and that God's angels watch over you, keep over you, Alphaeus, and you, Winry, on the top bunk, and Monty in the bed downstairs, and Mummy and Daddy and watch over your entire house, keep you safe, give you sweet dreams, and that tomorrow's going to be another wonderful day, and I hope you get to play outside and maybe you'll go in the car somewhere or you'll do something exciting tomorrow. And tomorrow night before bedtime, you'll have another one and let me take a peek. Whoa, you're going to love tomorrow's. It's going to be so much fun. So Nanny gives you lots of nanny kisses. To you, Winry. To you, Alphaeus. To you, Monty, and she loves you very, very much. Have a wonderful night. Mwah.